Hello, my gorgeous Libras. So, this video is a tarot reading for the sign Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, you know, I have a very, very close relationship with Libras. It's my rising sign, um, and a lot of people in my family and just people who impacted me heavily just happen to be Libras. Um, yes, so I'm very excited for this reading. And also, I was tapping into your energy earlier before this video, and I just got the sense that you guys are, like, with determination, trying to stay the light in the darkness. You are trying to, you know, you're trying to be the shining light however you can in people's lives, in your life and behind the scenes. Alright, so in this one you have not one really nice to thank you spirit. Um, yeah. And you're really like you're really just trying to let go of something. You're trying super super hard to be the, you know, comedic release, be the person that is like tapping into your wisdom to help other people right now. You're trying to be the light in the darkness for others. You know, you're holding the light, like in the hermit. And this takes a lot of work. It really does, because you have to go within. You have to learn how to be the light. You have to live in the light in order to spread it. And that was not an easy journey. It's never an easy journey to do that, you know? So, you've been through it. You may continuously, like, currently be going through it, but you stay being the light in the dark, and that's why I love you, Libra. It's not easy, but it's just in your nature, and you feel that, and you know that, and you have this anchoring urge to spread that, and just with passion and determination, you know? It's just, it's, it's beautiful. You know, and th there's a lot of intellect having to go on with this as well. You know, using your mediator skills, using that wisdom of past experience that you have under your belt, basically, you know, and just, ooh, they're yelling. So, Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, a lot of you may feel like you're not being appreciated for this, you know, like, you're trying to stay the light in the darkness, but no one is really, you know, thanking you or giving you your coin for it, necessarily. It's like, where's mine type thing, and that could be, like, wearing on you a little bit, you know? But it's like, it's coming. Because that is the Wheel of Fortune. It's just turned upside down. So once, use your light to shine on yourself. Because oftentimes, when you are a light worker, when you are doing things for, you know, to better other people, especially at lower vibrations, they may not even be at the vibration to thank you. They may not even know how to thank you. Listening could be their thank you, you know? Or, you know, the smallest thing. So, when you're doing energy work like this, when you are helping others, you know, when you're trying to be that sparkling light in the dark, the dark isn't going to say thank you. It's just going to get a little bit less dark. So you have to find the light in yourself, the light that you are holding to light your path towards gratitude. Thank spirit, and spirit will thank you back. And that's all you need. That's all you need. And once you do that, everything that you've ever wanted will literally come to fruition. Because you can see that. When you keep shining your light, 
It's karma. It's law of attraction. What you put out, you get back. What you dream to get will come to you as long as you shine your light and keep watering the seeds that you are planting. It's going to come. This thing that you are longing for is going to come. It is. These are a lot of major arcana cards here. Okay, you have, you have the hermit, you have hangman, the world, and the wheel of fortune. This is, like, this is impactful, Libra. This is, like, look at this. These are very, very strong cards. And you're doing that with determination and passion. You are, you're on your way. You are on your way towards dream whatever you dream it's it's coming just keep shining your light don't forget though you're important too okay a lot of times they just forget about themselves because they keep wanting to shine the light for the less fortunate for those that are hurting for those that are like really going through it you know and you just want to okay don't forget to heal your heart after this, especially because you're very receptive to energies when you are, you know, especially my empathic Libras out there. Like, for those of you that are very quick to absorb other people's energies and, you know, transform them to higher energies and just help them see the light in the darkness because you are the light in the darkness, oftentimes. You may leave that situation with a hurt heart or carrying their pain. Don't forget to let that pain go, okay? Use your words with yourself just like you do with others. You are just as important. You are the tool, okay, that is helping others. And if that tool is broken, if that tool is hurting, if that tool has rust, it won't work as well. You know, and it won't feel as well if tools have feelings. So it's like, shine your light, but don't forget to shine it inwards. Don't forget to go inwards every now and then and shine that light in yourself to rejuvenate yourself, to revive yourself that you, so you can still perform at top tier if and when you need to. You know, because that is just as important. It is just as important to do that. It really is. Okay. I'm leaving that there. Pulled about six cards. And, oh, the bottom of the deck. I usually shuffle, but whichever one comes out to me is the one that Spirit wants me to see. So, healthy lifestyle. Eating a healthful diet, get adequate, adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Don't forget to take care of yourself. You cannot forget to take care of yourself. And food is fuel, okay? So if you feel like, you know, what you're eating is slowing you down or it's not helping you perform at the highest or it's just, it's lowering your energy your vibration because food has a vibration too and that either helps lower like helps raise our vibration or it lowers it so take care of yourself during this time and forever you know so that you can continue doing what you crave to do writing all right make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book you know so however you're feeling if you if you can't really put your finger on it write it down so you can come back to it later and it might make more sense later it might or you know you might be able to expand on it based on current 
emotions and thoughts, you know, it's just, it's, it's very important that you take care of yourself like you are someone else that you care about, because you will put everybody else before yourself, but you are just as important, if not even more, so, I'm gonna leave that here, Libra, if this resonated, please, you know, give me some feedback, I would love to know, you know, if these are touching the hearts and souls of people who are watching, so, you know, like and subscribe if you would like to see more, and, um, yeah, this is for, you know, the month of September, just to clarify everything, and I hope you guys have a beautiful September, and I will see you next month for another reading. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, my lovelies. Love and light.